Point Nine. I'm Trooper Troy, and we have a lot of visitors in here. It's a, it's kind of a zoo, so to call. But we have uh, Brad from Discovery Cove. He's one of the animal trainers. He's got a friend in hand. We first want to say that we are videotaping this. We'll put it up on the website. Who do we have with us here, Brad? This here is Lucky. And Lucky. He, yeah, Lucky. He's a lucky animal. He is at Discovery Cove of Orlando, right across from SeaWorld. Uh, he is a two-toed sloth. And two-toed sloths are found not only at Discovery Cove, but also in the rainforest of Central and South America. So they live in the trees, and they blend in really well to the trees. That's why if you go there, it's kind of hard to see them. Uh, but if you go to Discovery Cove, you can see them real well because we'll be there holding them. It's, uh, it's amazing to see these animals up close. Even though Lucky doesn't do a whole lot, no. it's still fascinating to see him up close. He just has his arm wrapped around you like he's in love with you, Brad. Absolutely. And that's what's so amazing about SeaWorld and Discovery Cove is guests can come into the park, see these guys, and get close to them, touch them, and interact with them. Whereas it's really hard to do something, something like that you know, out in the rainforest or anything like that. So they can get an up close and personal experience with them. And Discovery Cove also has the dolphin interaction, which is absolutely amazing, breathtaking. The, the reef, uh, the, uh, the cor coral reef basically, has tropical fish. Uh, then you go into the aviary and you can hand feed exotic birds. So it's really a cool opportunity. And there's also packages for Discovery Cove where you can come over to SeaWorld and that's part of the package. It's pretty amazing. And at SeaWorld, you can see the really cool uh, yeah. <laughs> the penguins down here, right? We have to watch where we're walking because <laughs> we have guys scurrying across our feet. So yes. besides Lucky the Sloth, we have a couple of uh, penguins in here running around. Yes, absolutely. These penguins are from the southern hemisphere. So more uh, chilly Argentina is where you're going to find this type of penguin. Uh, they, other than eating fish and, and finding fish for their nests, they pretty much swim all the time and also just you know guard their babies, guard, guard their nests, and incubate their eggs. So these are really cool animals that you can actually go to SeaWorld and kind of get up close personal. We have programs where you can get up close and personal with these animals, also where you can see them from in, in a habitat that fills with snow every day. It's pretty amazing. And as well, when you go see these black and white well, friends, you can go see our other black and white friends, the Coda Whales. And wow. we are starting a new show called One Ocean, and it's going to be amazing. They basically sitting in your seat watching this show, you're just going to feel pumped up and inspired to go out and do something even more for nature and more for the, the world and conservation education. That's the message that we're actually getting across in that show. So it's pretty amazing. I know Discovery Cove, one of the biggest things is swimming with the dolphins. Yes. I mean, people talk about that all the time. So you have a lot of packages, a lot of interaction, things that we can do up there. If people are interested and they want to check it out, we have a website, correct? Absolutely. SeaWorldOrlando.com. And you can see all the new packages, uh, whether, you know, it's all the different stuff that you can do for families and lots of di different deals you can look at, as well as we're partnering with hotels where you can get front of the line access or uh, early park entry, uh, different benefits such as transportation with going and staying at one of the hotels that we're partnering with. And then come over to Discovery Cove in June, we're opening the Grand Reef, which is a massive saltwater reef where guests can get close to the animals there. Even if they're uncomfortable in the water, they can actually get close to the animals over the shallows, walking, see the sharks that we have, and uh, even do a, a deep type of sea venture dive where you're walking on a walking tour with a helmet on. So lots of new stuff happening at, at SeaWorld and Discovery Cove. Easy weekend trip, three hours away, and you'd be all set. We sometimes forget how lucky we are in Florida, how close these things are to us when people from all over the country have to plan for like years ahead exactly. to do one trip down to Florida somewhere and they get to go to one park. We can do that, like you said, on a quick weekend. Yep. So absolutely. Discovery Cove is, uh, it's, it's amazing. I know a lot of people that have been there, I yet have to been there. I've, oh. I've not yet been there. So I'm very excited about an opportunity to go up and see it. Swim uh, with the dolphins, you have to do that at least once, especially if you're a Florida resident. Come on. Absolutely. It's too close to pass up. It is an amazing, amazing uh, adventure. Right. So log on to uh, SeaWorldOrlando.com, yes. right? Yeah, That'll take you to everywhere and every opportunity that you have up there. So it's a, not only a family event, but if you just want to go as like a man and wife, a couple, if you're down here retired, oh, it's yeah. something you can experience and enjoy just as much. Oh, yeah. There's something for all ages. Are penguins behaving over there? Oh, yeah, they definitely are. They're, they're a made in pair, so they, uh, they love hanging out with each other. I see that they left me a present here on the floor we get to clean up later. Yeah, we always have to leave something behind. <laughs> That's, right. That's okay. We have people that will pick it up for us, right? Well, cool. I appreciate you guys coming in. And, again, we'll have video up on our website. And 
we'll have opportunities for some giveaways as well, correct? Absolutely. We are set up for that. All right. We'll have more information on that and how you can go up and uh, experience Discovery Cove as well. But Brad and everybody here from Discovery Cove, thank you so much for bringing in Lucky and the Penguins and everybody too. Oh, it's our pleasure. Thank you very much.